Adding one more duck will make our game even more interesting. In this lecture, I will create another duck class called duck2 by extending duck. By the end, you will be able to understand object oriented programming concepts more clearly and be able to create a frame by frame animation like this. So let's get started. Right click on the package and create a new class called duck2. Extend duck1 Press Alt and Enter on the red squiggly line and create the constructor matching super. You need to find another set of dark frames or sprite images for the new animation. Let me copy and paste my second set of dark frames in drawable folder. I have named the images dark2 underscore 0, dark2 underscore 1, etc. As you can see, these dark images have dimension 100 by 62 same as the previous type of ducks. This class will have a separate bitmap array hiding its superclasses implementation. So right in class level bitmap brackets duck equals to new bitmap pass 9 because this type of ducks have 9 frames put the array initialization code in constructor copy this and paste here, change the names since we are using a different bitmap dark array in this subclass we need to override all the methods where the array is being referenced so right click inside dark2 Generate override methods, select all four methods and click OK. We should not use return statement like this, otherwise the base classes data will be returned. So just copy and paste the return statements. Let's implement the reset position method slightly differently. Duck x equals to game view dot d with plus random dot next int and pass 1500 duck y equals to random dot next int pass 400 and velocity equals to 16 plus random dot Next int 19. In this case, 
velocity will vary between 16 and 34. Call reset position from constructor. Now animating this duck is just the same as the previous animation. If you can implement by your own, go ahead. Else, just follow along with me. Go to gameview.java. Declare a second array list called duck2 in class level. Instantiate in constructor. duck2 equals to new array list inside constructor inside the for loop create two duck2 objects and add to the new array list duck2 duck underscore 2 equals to new duck2 pass context duck2 dot add duck underscore 2 next in on draw inside the for loop write similar code for duck2 I'm just going to copy this and paste below and I will rename the variables So basically I use the same code that I used for the first duck animation. Nothing new in this part. Run the application. Perfect. So to recap, I have shown you how to create a subclass of duck and override the methods. I have implemented the new duck animation with a similar code that I used in earlier animation. In the next lecture, I will implement the shooting mechanism with a ball towards the ducks. I will also show you how to make your game full screen and keep the screen awake. See you in the next video.